Hi everyone, welcome to the session on Automation Anywhere. In the today's session, we will learn how we can extract fields from a PDF file. So, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and also click on the bell icon to get the updates on the latest videos. So, let's get started. So, I have some sample PDFs with me. These are some utility bills which are samples. So, this is my PDF file from where we are going to extract fields. The field can be anything, maybe the account number which I want to extract, maybe the bill print date or the due date so we can extract the fields from a PDF file and we will look how we can do these things from automation anywhere. So what is our task? So I will write it in steps. So first of all we need to specify the PDF. So we will specify the PDF from where we want to extract the fields. After that we will extract the fields from the PDF and we will display the fields inside the message box. We will display the extracted fields from the PDF inside the message box. So I will write display in the message box. Now in the automation anywhere how we can display a value inside a message box. We can display with the help of variables. So I will write using variables. So for that what we need to do the fields which we have extracted in this step extract the fields from the PDF and assign it to a variable. I will write extract the field from the PDF and assign it to a variable and that variable that XYZ variable will be displayed inside the message box right now for that we need to create a variable also right so first step we will write as create variable xyz right so these all are my steps first we will create a variable then we will specify the pdf then we will extract the field from the pdf and we will assign the extracted field to a variable and then we will display the message display inside the message box. We will display the variable inside the message box. So let's see how we can do these things with the help of automation anywhere. So for that I will going to create a new task. So I clicked on new task and I clicked on workbench. So I am here to create a new task and for that our first step is to create a variable. So what all fields we will extract so we can extract this bill period account number and due date these three things we will be extracting so i will create three variables accordingly so this is my variable manager and i will click on add and i will create the first variable as bill period i will uh, you are assigning none value to variable so that's okay that is not an issue so I will click on yes and then I will create another variable and I will give the name as account number so I will click on save yes it's okay so I will go I will be creating an, another variable and that will be due on so I will take due on and click on save so my first task is over I have created the variable that is I have created three variables account number bill period and due on now I am going to specify the PDF so how can we do that so in the command section you can see there are multiple of commands over here we will search for the PDF so this is the PDF integration command and from here I will select extract form fields. There are multiple of commands over here PDF to image, extract form fields, extract text. So we will look it into them one by one. So first of all we will select extract form fields. So double click on that and it will be opened and here first thing which we need to do is to specify PDF name. So I need to give the full path. So here I will click and I will click the utility one that is the PDF file from where I want to extract the fields. So I will click on open 
and if your PDF is password protected in that case you can specify the username and password also in my case it is not password pro protected so that don't, that is not required to be given now inserted fields now I am going to extract the fields so for that you will click on add and once you click on add you can see that the path of the PDF file which you have provided that comes open right so this was the path which we had provided from here I want to extract the data and here we can extract the data so let's see how we can extract the data first of all I want to extract the bill period so for that you will select this data you need to select this data with your mouse and yes uh, by dragging it so I have selected the data and once you, you have selected this data you will right click and you will click on add field so this field value gets added so what field name do you want to give to this so I will give this as bill period this field this is the field which gets selected this is the field which gets extracted and I'm specifying the field name this is the field name I have given and we need to assign it to a variable now the variable which we had just created so I will select on the drop down and I will select this bill period which we have created just now so what will happen this value will be assigned to this variable this value having this field name as bill period will be assigned to this variable okay and now I will click on ok and I will click on save and in a similar manner I will extract some other fields also you so for that you will click on add and now I want to select this account number so for that again with the help of your mouse you can select this one by dragging your mouse and uh, it gets selected and you will right click and again the same process add field I will give the field name as account number and this value having the field name as account number is assigned to the variable account num which we have created and I will click on OK and I will click on save and the last field which we are going to select is due date so in a similar manner with the help of your mouse you will drag it and you can see this gets selected and you will right click add field and you will give the name as due date any field name you can give so this value having the field name as due date is assigned to a variable that is due on right so I will click on ok and I will click on save and this also I have entered all the values so I will click on save so yes my PDF integration command is ready now what I need to do I need to display it inside a message box correct so I have specified the PDF extracted the field from the PDF and assigned it to a variable also now I am going to display it inside the message box so how we can do that so for that we are going to take message box so this is my message box and here I will write as bill period and what is my bill period I will take it as a variable so for that I will click on F2 and from here from the variable section I can take the value of the bill period variable as this bill period and I will click on insert and then I will take what else we had given we had given account number so I will write account number equal to then I will give another variable that is the account num I will click on insert and then what else we have given we have given due on so I will write due date and I will click on F2 and we have a list of variables with us so I will click on due on and insert so I will click it now my command is ready my task is ready to extract from the PDF and display it inside a message box so I will save this file 
PDF integration and I am going to save this and now we will see how it goes on how the execution goes on so I will click on run so my execution is started and you can see the first detail it got as bill period account number and okay I have given date date it should be due date correct so yes my execution is over and it is successful I will just write it over here due date and you can see how easily automation anywhere extracted from the PDF and it display it inside the message box correct so it is successful now suppose what we did we had extracted data from this first PDF only now what if I want to extract the data from this second and the third PDF so there might be the situations where you need to extract data from hundreds or, or thousands of files so in that case what you are going to do so in that case we need to create a loop so that the task is repeated again and again with with the entire amount of PDF files maybe the hundred or the thousands of PDF files so the loop will run for that specific number of times correct so let's see how we can do that so my this task is over and now what we are going to do we are going to create a loop now start loop okay so I will write start loop as over here variables need to be created at first we will start the loop and we will do all these things over here and we will end the loop over here so let's see how we can do that so for that we have a loop command with us this is the loop command and what we need to do for each file for each file in this folder we want our we want our execution to do these two commands so for that for for so for that in the loop I will also select as for each file in a folder that is for each file for each of these files in this folder in this folder what we need to do so I will write as for each file in a folder and you need to select the folder from where you want to select so I will click on browse and I will give as utility bills so this is my folder and I will click on save so I will put my these two commands inside the loop so for each file in a folder do these things now what is this in the PDF integration we have specified the file name as utility one that was that was our first file right now I need to take second and third also so in this case you need to specify a variable there will be a system variable which will specify these three files okay so that system variable is let me write it down so you need to change this file name that cannot be a single file now so you need to change this file name to a variable that system variable is file name right and the variable we write inside the dollars so I have written as dollars okay and I will click on save and here I will also write specify the PDF and I will write this time the PDF will be as a variable variable will be file name I will write PDF name as a variable why we are giving the PDF name as variable in this case because that is in loop now there is not a single PDF as of now there are three PDFs which we need to extract okay so in this case we have given the variable name so we are good to go we have provided the loop and we have put all these two commands inside the loop so let's save the task and let's run it let's see what is the result so my execution got started I got the first details from the first field so from the first PDF that is I will click on ok and this is the data from my second PDF file 
so i will click on okay and the loop ran for the third time also and this is the data from my third pdf correct so i will click on okay right so in this way you can extract data from the pdf file and you can extract multiple pdf files with the help of loop so what we are doing we are displaying the extracted fields inside a message box okay and in the next session we will see that how we can put the these extracted fields from the pdf into the excel file so we will look into that into the next session okay and for these task and for this task if you have any query please put it in the comment section below and i will try to solve your queries and in the next session we will see how we can put the these extracted fields from the pdf into the excel file okay that's all for this session thank you